It's really quiet now in this game. I don't like this. Some small details fell through the cracks. Now listen, if a game like this, with this graphics, can have a fucking... Can have that, then I... The other games don't... Don't have an excuse. What is this? Nate. I can't... I can't interact with that yet. This seems to be my only button. Who else has played this game? Do we want to go downstairs or upstairs? They said the basement was bad. Let's go upstairs first. You saw Bobo play a bit of it? You've seen Sleepy play this? There's fucking blood over there. You've seen gameplay videos? Yeah, I've been told I need to play this. Two years ago. Do you guys remember that actual, like, priest game that I played? That was actually pretty good. Is this a bathtub? The ducky's bad. Now get the fuck out of my ducky. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what this, what is out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm a car, it, like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Mark Pillier played it. I don't watch him, so... But I know I... I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, I was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name. In other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Okay, so obviously we're... Is this a bed? Okay. So we're doing a... We're doing an exorcism, I'm guessing. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Wow, that's fucking racist. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. This game's throwing you off. With games like these, I'm a little bit more, um... I know, it's totally like DOS game vibes. Thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has lots of folks who practice Kimbabo? Kimbaba? It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he ever had prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. Uh, he told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures ma made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. He told... We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need you to wrap this letter up and get back to work. I'll see you in four months. Leighton. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not good. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rites for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Albert asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back upstairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we could, couldn't could hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. 
I found Father Alred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. All right, that's not good. Um, I kind of don't want to step in the middle of this. Did I die? What is going on? More of this. 